Hey guys, and welcome to the first Python Kivi tutorial. So in today's video, and I guess the rest of the videos in the series, we're going to be going through using the uh, Python module Kivi. Now, if you're not sure and you don't know what that is, essentially Kivi is a cross-platform compatible uh, GUI like development kit. And I know that was kind of like a long definition, but essentially it allows us to create uh, graphical user interfaces that work on not only Windows, but Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android. So that means that all of our applications are scalable for all those platforms and we have to do very minimal when we're, what do you call it, releasing for different platforms, which is really nice and allows us to, to develop super scalable applications that we can use on basically everything. And for you, those of you guys that want to create like apps and stuff, um, like for your phone, you can do it with this using Python. So uh, we have to install Kivi before we can start using it. So essentially I'm just on the Kivi website right now. and. We can do this using pip uh, pretty standard. I'm going to show you how to do it on Windows, but if you want to do this on Mac or you want to do it on some other platform, if you go to the Kivi website, and I'll leave the link in the description, you go to installation, and then you, uh, actually, this is probably not the best one to do. So let's just go to kivi.org, okay? Go to download, and then just choose your uh, your operating system here. You can see they have uh, Raspberry Pi, Android, like they have all this kind of stuff. OS X, Windows, probably the most popular. I'm going to go installation on Windows. And then I'm actually just going to copy these commands to install uh, Kibi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to command prompt. Now, what I need you guys to first off start by typing and see if this works is just type pip on whatever system, whatever OS you're working on. So type pip. Now, um, if this doesn't work for you or you get like pip is not a command, watch this really quickly. If it did, you're, you're great. Just fast forward like a minute into the video and I'll show you what we're going to do with this. So if this didn't work for you, what you need to do is you need to go to just type uninstall, uh, uninstall, like add or remove programs. All right. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to find uh, Python. Okay. So wherever Python is, I'm assuming you already have it installed. So Python 3.7.1, this is the version I'm using currently supported by Kivi. You're going to go to modify, get to click. Yes. And then you're going to go and you're going to click on modify here and you're going to just select pip. So it should be unselected. You're going to select that and hit next. Now, once you do that, it's going to install pip and add it to your path, which means you'll be able to do the next steps that I'm about to show. So I've already done that. So I'm going to cancel that, but that's how you can just quickly allow make pip work on your system. Okay. So now that we have pip, what we're going to do is we're going to follow the steps on the website. So the first one is ensure you have the latest pip and wheel. So I'm literally just going to copy this command. Uh, and what do you call it? And just type it in here. So Python hyphen M pip install. If for some reason, this Python hyphen M doesn't work. You can just try pip install and that should work for you. So let's run this. Uh, and see, I've already done this. So it says requirements already up to date, but for you guys, it's probably going to install some things. Okay. The next thing we need to do is install the Kivi dependencies. So again, I'm just going to copy these and just literally paste them into my command prompt and just see if these work. And I'll have all of these in the description and also on my website, techwithtim.net, so that you guys can go through this. So if you'd rather go through like a quick text-based version, um, what you can do is just go to my website and I have the entire tutorial like written out as a guide on there. So techwithtim.net if you wanna see that. Okay, so again, requirement already satisfied, but I'm just going through what you guys need to do because this needs to use a bunch of different dependencies to uh, actually work, okay? Uh, so now we're gonna go to this one. So Python pip install kivi depths uh, angle. All right, we'll use that requirement already satisfied. But again, this is what you guys need to go through. And we don't need to install this last one here. We just need to install uh, Kivi. So we'll do pip hyphen M pip install Kivi. And again, I already have this installed, so that should be working. Now, last thing, if you guys don't already have Pygame installed, what you need to do is just type pip install Pygame like this. Okay. Uh, and now, again, I already have it installed, but it should go through and install these things. So if you guys have any issues with this, please leave a comment. I'll try to help you out. But essentially what I've just done here is I've installed all the dependencies for Kivi, which means I just went to their website and I just copied these things. And again, how I got here was I went to Kivi.org and then I just clicked on the download button, went to Windows, and then I just copied all these things and pasted them in my command prompt and hit enter. So you guys should be able to do that. Again, leave a comment. I'll try to help you out if anything is wrong with that. Okay, so now uh, we can close that, I guess, and we'll actually start to, uh, to get working here in Kivi. So I'm going to be using PyCharm uh, for my uh, where I write all my code. But if you guys are using the standard IDLE, which comes with Python, um, just any basic install, all this will work. So again, if you were working with that, you can just go to new file, create a new file, and just you can type the exact same code that I'm going to be writing in PyCharm. I just like this um, 
IDE better uh, and it's easier to use. So that's why I'm going to use it. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to import Kibi uh, and we're just going to see if this works. So essentially, I already have a configuration here to run. If you don't know how to do that, I have some PyTrim tutorials that can show you, but I'm going to click run and see if we get any errors. So I'll come here and guys, if you see this red text, this is perfectly fine. And this is just info, right? More kind of warning stuff. Um, if you're doing this, that's fine. Just make sure that this actually runs and you don't get any errors, okay? So if some text comes out, uh, that's fine. Just make sure it's not an error. If you're using IDLE to test this, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go import uh, Kivi like this. Now it's not gonna work because I'm doing kind of a different way of doing this, but this should work for you guys uh, if you've just done what I showed you, okay? Okay, so import Kivi. Next thing we're gonna need to do is actually from Kivi uh, dot app so app we're going to import and in this case we're going to do all capitals app now kivi actually works um, based on object oriented programming now if you guys don't know anything about object oriented programming you don't understand classes inheritance i'm going to recommend you probably learn that first because a lot of this stuff is going to have to do with that and if you don't know that it could be a bit confusing so i do have tutorials on my channel going through uh, object oriented programming in python they're about an hour long and it'll teach you everything you need to know. Uh, so I'll leave a link to that as well. But you guys should definitely learn that if you haven't already. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a class. I'm going to call this my app. Okay. And it's going to inherit from app. Now, essentially what this is going to do is it means we're going to take all the properties that have already been written for us from Kivi from this app class. And we're going to use them inside our class, my app. Now, the only thing we need to actually write in this class is define build. Okay. And then I think self is actually all we need. And we'll, all we're going to do here is we're just going to return something. And that is what we're going to get to now. So what we also have to do now is we have to import um, like our widgets and our labels and all that from Kivi. So these are the things that we're going to draw onto our screen, um, the things that we're going to use, and they've already been created for us from Kivi, uh, but we just need to import them so that we can reference them directly. So what we're going to do is we're going to do from Kivi dot, uh, what do you call it? Label or no, dot UIX dot label we're going to import and then with a capital label. Now you should be seeing a trend here. All of the file names have all lower cases. So whenever we're importing something, we're gonna import from UIX, which is actually a folder. Uh, we're gonna import, import the label Python module, and then we're gonna import the class label from that module. So that now what we're gonna do inside of this app here is we're just gonna type return label and inside label, it takes a parameter of text and that's gonna be obviously what text uh, our label is. So I'm gonna say text equals and then here, tech with Tim, like that, okay? So we have define build uh, and return label tech with Tim. Now, the reason that we don't need an initialization here, so if you've ever used classes before, you'll see that we do like define underscore underscore init underscore underscore. The reason we don't need that is because by leaving it out, this is going to default call the constructor of our main uh, app class, the one we're inheriting from. So essentially, we're going to automatically call the inheritor for this or the constructor for this. And then it's going to build our like frame and everything for us. And then when we call this build, uh, we can actually just create the application. So the last thing we need to do to actually see our app and run it is we just have to do this. Uh, and I'll talk about what this is doing in a second. So if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals and then underscore, I think it's this underscore underscore main underscore underscore. What we're going to do is we're just going to run our app. And the way we do that is we're going to say my app and then brackets. Make sure you include those brackets. Otherwise, it's not going to work dot run. OK, so let's quickly just deconstruct what we've actually done. So we've imported the main app class. Now, this class from Kivi is what allows us to build an actual window. It's going to do all the graphics for us. It's going to do all that really low level stuff for us. And we're just going to inherit that in our own class, my app. Now that means when we call my app.run, notice that we didn't create a run method here. We didn't do like define uh, run, right? The reason that we're able to do this is because inside of this app class that we can't see right now, but it does exist, there is a run method. And that run method, what it's going to do is it's going to configure all the graphics, it's going to get everything set up, uh, and it's going to run our app. Now, when we do build, what's going to happen is this is what uh, is going to like be the main interface for our application. So when we're just returning a label, somewhere inside of this app class, it's it's calling this build method, right? Or it's calling, yeah, this build method. And it's asking for what do we need to put inside the window? And it's gonna give a label that says the text tech with Tim. 
So our app class is going to set that up. It's going to draw the label out to the screen. And then when we're running this, right, we're going to see it on the screen. So let's go ahead and run this and see if it's working. Awesome. So we get a window that says tech with Tim. Now notice right away, if I resize this window, make it whatever size I want, you can actually see uh, this is sorry, it's being kind of difficult here that our label automatically adjusts. Now this is amazing because this means essentially that we can just uh, allow this to go out on any platform right away and it's automatically going to be sized dynamically to whatever we're on. So say we go full screen, you can see this automatically adjusts. It goes right in the middle. If I go back, it goes like that. So this is going to work on all platforms. And that's the amazing thing with Kibi that allows us to do that so easily. So uh, that is, I think, all I'm going to do for this tutorial. If you guys have any trouble setting up Kibi, please don't hesitate to contact me either in the comments, joining my Discord server, or on Twitter. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,